doomed. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle cannot catch a break. We want privacy. We want privacy. Welcome to our Royals channel, soon to be named, I promise. But I'm so glad you guys are here. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We got so much more royalty coming your way. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and get ready for more of the Royals from yours truly. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's break this down. This is interesting because I do have production background, so I can really help illuminate a lot of this. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's Netflix projects are in doubt as strike begins, uh, brings production to a crashing halt. And this is a valid thing here. This is not just speculation that's like, oh, we're gossiping. No, no, no. This is true. There is a writer strike that's currently happening, which has made it so any writing on films, and even technically you're not supposed to be writing on reality, like, any of these writers, research, et cetera, they're all not supposed to be working. Deadpool 3 is currently shooting, and they're not allowed to ad-lib. Ryan Reynolds is not supposed to ad-lib. I'm sure he is, but he's not supposed to. There's a lot of, like, not supposed to's happening. And so not only are the writers on strike, but SAG, the Screen Actors Guild, is literally about to be on strike if they can't come up with something. And it doesn't seem like they're gonna. They're trying to delay. Anyway, the talk around town here is that both the writers and now the actors will be on strike. And if the actors go on strike, then yes, <laughs> Meg and Harry are doomed. It's true. The Netflix deal is doomed because it's going to put a lot of this in jeopardy. It's going to delay even further. The clock is ticking for their deal. Now, granted, a lot of deals are, but Netflix is going to be looking to trim a lot of the fat as all these productions end. They're going to need to. And who do you think is going to be first in line? Uh, the two that never gave us any good ideas? Yes, them. So this is a real, I would, I would think this is a scary uh, prospect for them. Now, uh, here, let's read how this uh, Britain's news channel, GB, is t handling this. Uh, Prince uh, Harry and Meghan Markle's Netflix projects have been halted as the Hollywood writer's strike affects production. Duke and Duchess of Sussex are said to be working on multiple projects. However, source close to the couple has told The Telegraph that it was proving tough for the Sussex to move forward with their concepts due to the strike. Prince Harry and Meghan's documentary has been nominated for a major award. I love how that keeps saying it, put it out there. But the nomination is a huge is a huge boost for the couple after suffering setbacks. No, it's not. It's a really dumb award. That means nothing. That they're not going to win. But yet, notice how they're using it everywhere. A major award. Blah, 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 blah. Major award. Uh, it's not a major award. It's a nomination to a not the Emmys. <laughs> they didn't get an Emmy nomination. <laughs> the series titled Meghan Harry has been nominated for a Hollywood's Critics Award. You know, you guys, can you guys name a single Hollywood Critics Award winner? Of course you can. It's not a major award. It's a it's an award. It's a Hollywood award, but it's not a major one. The Best Streaming Nonfiction Award. Yeah. Woohoo. I mean, look, good for them for buying that. Uh, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex docuseries broke records, yada, yada, yada. However, despite the numbers... The views were mixed. The reviews were mixed. Megan are working on separate projects titled Bad Manners. The mooted sh new show is inspired by Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. And they're developing a show based on a feminist version of Miss Havisham from Dickens' famous novel. Prince Harry is also planning a new project without Megan, according to an insider, as he goes and travels Africa. As Return to Africa would be the new documentary that he's making. Uh, this is where I feel uh, more like myself than anywhere else in the world. I wish I could spend more time in Africa. Source told Page Six, obviously Harry has lots of roots in Africa and he feels at home there. Netflix Insider confirmed that the project was one of several ideas that the Duke of Sussex has been discussing. But let's let's really think about this for now because currently you're working on this Great Expectations series which would require actors, writers, and the writers are on strike. They've been on strike for months. They are likely going to be on strike for a little while. I know there's a lot. I'm, I'm avoiding that whole thing. It just... It is what it is. I think some of the demands are a little excessive, but at the same time, I want to stand with the writers, but I can see why there's an impasse. Um, and uh, if you say that and you're anti-writers, then you're just completely roasted in, in the space, and it's kind of frustrating. If SAG goes on strike too, it's going to be a lot more complicated. Now, some say the studios want this to happen because they'll be able to get money. I won't bore you with the insider insight, but yeah, some people are saying Hollywood wants this strike to happen so they can trim a lot of fat, break a lot of deals. And I, I bring that up to you all here on this channel because I do see that as an opportunity for Netflix to blame the strike 
And for Meghan and Harry to blame the strike, just like they blamed the Queen's death and the pandemic and all their excuses for why they're not doing as well as they did, the strike becomes another excuse potentially for them to go. <laughs> We're so unlucky! Why can't we catch a break? Ah, uh, I like that drop. I'm going to own that drop. You're going to hear that drop in this channel a lot. So get ready. And I warned you all over Popcorn Planet. It's going to be funny. It's going to get annoying. And then it's going to get funny again. <laughs> We're going to have the full turn. Mark my words. But yeah, they're crying and, and they're going to be using that. I'm Andy Domus here. Andy Domus is here. He's predicting the future. Mark my words. If something goes south and the strike happens, it was because the strike. We couldn't even get anything done. But that's not why, kids. No, 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 no. It happened because you guys suck at productions. You don't know what you're doing. You're not Hollywood writers and actors and creators. I know, Megan, you claim to be an actor. You had one one show that was popular here in the States to some people. And uh, yeah, come on, girl. You're famous because you married Prince Harry. And Prince Harry is married because he was born a prince. It's keeping a buck. Neither of these two have ever really done anything of their own. There's no reason why they should be put on a pedestal. Uh... And we're sick of it. And yet they claim to be the, oh, we are the D Duke of Duchess, Duke and Duchess of Sussex. <sighs> Hi, I want a whole lifestyle brand and I want this and I want that. Who cares? Who? I literally have built a whole channel to complain about you and tons of people are watching every day. And uh, wh why does it make it have her own YouTube channel? <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? Can you imagine the revenue she'd make? Megan, I mean, if I was on your team, I'd be like, forget Spotify, get on YouTube. Just own it, girl. Cash in, baby. Oh, I'd love to react to Megan's YouTube videos. Please come on YouTube. Come on here anytime, Megan. I don't think you will. But anyway, I think this is real. I do think this is real. But again, it's it's only, it still hasn't happened yet. The SAG strike is still TBD. It could happen any day. It's really on, literally walking the line there of when this is going to go down. There was a little bit of an extension, but the extension's about to expire, and the writer's strike's already causing lots of havoc with productions, and so good luck to these idiots, these bozos who can't even make content. Now, they can't even get writers or actors to be in their content. Yeah, technically, that's not their fault, but it's not going to help their deal, and Netflix, I imagine, tell me if you think I'm crazy, is going to jump on that opportunity to trim this <laughs> royal fat if they can, uh, because... How else are you going to make this show without writers and actors? Bad Manners is the only one they have on deck. And if this strike goes long, the clock is ticking. They must feel worried, worried. And that's why I think Harry's like, I guess I'm going to Africa by myself. And that's why I think Megan's like, well, I'll act. What if I tell them I'll be in the first movie? Kevin, I'll be in your movie. Is the script ready? Let's just go make it quick. Uh, but then if the SAG goes on strike, Megan can't even use her acting. Oh man, these two are, it is truly doomed. My title is uh, doomed. Their deal is doomed. I'm sure that makes a lot of you happy because <laughs> a lot of you just want them to be doomed forever. Uh, what do you think down in the comments below? We got so much more coming over on Popcorn Planet and here on the Royals and here you're always going to get your royalty and soon we'll be announcing our name and more and we're going to go live. Oh my God. And I got a, I got a show upcoming. You're going to love it. A really good breakdown series. You're not going to miss it. So do me a favor. Hit that subscribe. Heck, be the first one to leave a super thanks. Hit the three little dots and hit the super thanks. In fact, you do, do you know how to do that? Let's show you how to do it over in Steph the Alter Nerd. Can I show you that real quick as we wrap up this video? If you're still watching at this point and you're watching me show you how to subscribe, well, then you're a fan. So go support it. Now, I'm already subscribed to her. I, I have to unsubscribe so you can see it. But go to Steph the Alter Nerd as well. Show her some love. Let's She, she zoomed past 70,000. We got to get her 100K. This is ridiculous. I, this is my mission now. The Royals channel and Steph both need to be at 100K. Come on. We got to do this together. Can we do it? Go hit the subscribe. And then when you watch one of her videos or one of our videos, hi, Steph. When you go do it, there's a little dot here. And see how it says thanks? Make sure it doesn't have my, my finance issue. There you go. You can change the amount. Oh, who's going to drop $500 on the Royals chat? I, I, mean, I, I will respond. I'll respond to anybody who does a super thanks. I'll go look and find you. Uh, and if I don't, for some reason, got lost, hit me up. I'll make sure we I respond but yeah, you can leave any level over on Steph's, over here, over there. Support our coverage. 
Megan and Harry hate it when you do that. And thank you for watching. We'll be live later today over on Popcorn Planet to talk about so much more, including updates on Captain Corey and more. I hope you guys will tune us in both channels. Thank you so much for watching. We want privacy. We want privacy.